This is a word problem. Finding the answer to the question will entail finding either the LCM or the HCF. What we'll do is we'll read the question and see if there are any keywords that will help us determine whether it's a LCM question or a HCF question. Subsequently, what we'll do is we'll solve the question in a systematic fashion and then check out whether we come to the same conclusion that we got using the keywords. Right, let's get started. Katya has 49 paintings and 35 medals. She wants to display them in groups throughout her house, each with the same combination of paintings and medals, with none left over. What we need to find out is the greatest number of groups that Katya can display them in. Let's go back to the second sentence. She is dividing them, displaying them into groups, which means she is making them into groups or sets, such that each has the same combination. So if she's going to divide something, we are talking about factors. So this question is a HCF question. Let's go over it in a systematic fashion and then check out whether we come to the same conclusion. Let's start by assigning variables. We're going to assign three variables. First one, for the number of groups into which she can divide it. The greatest number of groups that she can divide it into, let's assign a variable for it, which is n. So our final answer is the value of n. Two other variables, the number of paintings in each group is going to be p and the number of medals in each group is going to be M. So each group will have P paintings. The number of paintings in all of the groups is going to be the same. The number of medals in all of the groups is also going to be the same. Let's get started. She's got 49 paintings divided into N groups with each group having P paintings. So number of groups into number of paintings per group will give us the total number of paintings, which is equal to 49. So N into P equals 49. Extending the logic for the medals. She's got 35 medals, dividing it into N groups with M medals per group. So number of groups into number of medals per group will give us a total number of medals, which is equal to 35. So it's quite evident that N will divide 49 and N will divide 35, which means N is a factor of 49 and N is a factor of 35. So N is a factor common to 49 and 35. What is N? Number of groups. Not just some number of groups, it's a greatest number of groups. So we're saying N is a factor of 49 and 35 and n should be as high a value as it can be, which means you're talking about the HCF. So the keywords that we used to determine that dividing into groups, having the same combination led us to HCF. The systematic approach is also leading us to the same thing. So next time you see these keywords, just go with the keywords if you can, that will save you one hell of a time. Let's get started with finding out the HCF. That's the last step left to finding the answer. How do you find the HCF using prime factorization? It's a three step process. Step one, prime factorize both the numbers. 49 is a 7 square, 35 is equal to 5 into 7. Step 2, pick the common primes between the two numbers. The only common prime between these two numbers is a 7. Step 3 will give us a HCF. HCF is nothing but the product of common primes in their lowest power. The only common prime is 7. The lowest power of 7 between the two numbers is 1. So the HCF is equal to 7, which is nothing but the greatest number of groups that she can divide her paintings and medals into. So 7 is the maximum number of groups into which she can divide them. Quickly sum up this last bit in a printed form. Prime factor is both the numbers. 49 is a 7 square, 35 is a 7 into 5. Pick the common prime, the only common prime is 7. HCF is a product of the lowest power of common primes. Common prime is 7, its lowest power is 1. So 7 power 1 is a HCF. So Katya, the greatest number of groups that she can divide or display her paintings in medal is equal to 7.